Hi everybody, it is Claire here and I'm doing a little bit of a different kind of video today. I wanted to show my face. Um, I realize there's a couple different videos that I've never done before and it seems like they're a thing out there. Um, I've never done bookshelf tours. As you can see, I have two bookshelves behind me that are pretty full. I have another bookshelf straight in front of me that is also full and I also have a couple bookshelves downstairs that are that are just as full as well. Um, I've been doing a lot of journaling, uh, journal reviews lately. Um, journaling is my therapy, if you will. Um, I usually go through a journal in about mm, a month. And so I've been trying different ones and that way I can, you know, come back on here and tell you guys how I feel about them, if you care. So, um, I have some other videos coming up. Um, I have had some new additions to my fountain pen collection. Um, I have something that I'm calling my ink bar that I would like to show to you. Um, I've started making leather goods just for myself, um, and occasional gifts. Um, so I thought that was kind of cool. So I'd like to talk about that. Pardon my scratches here. I, we have a, we have a rabbit. And um, yesterday was nail clipping day. And uh, he wasn't very happy about that. Well, so getting back to the topic at hand, today I wanted to do a very special review for you um, of a new journal. This is the first time I've ever used this journal. And I can tell you right now, it won't be the last. So, this, pardon my stickers on here, this uh, journal right here comes from a company called Jumping Fox, and you can find them on Amazon. They also have their own standalone website. Um, it has a really nice, okay, again, I just don't feel like doing my nails has a very nice feel to it. It's almost like a linen-like cover over the cardboard of the um, the book binding. Um, I thought this was such a beautiful color, this, uh, this green. Um, green is my favorite color. I don't know if you know that, but it is. Uh, so on the back, they have their logo, um, Jumping Fox Designs. And this is a pretty cool company. They are a women-owned and women-operated company. And it's a small company. Um, they have a couple different um, styles and designs of notebooks. And they have big plans of broadening and expanding their notebooks and their line. And I'm hoping that um, soon we can see maybe some pocket-sized notebooks. Um, and maybe some blank notebooks and things of that nature. So I'm gonna get into it. I'm gonna show you what I like about it and all that good stuff. So join me at my desk. Okay, so I hope you can see this. Um, I apologize for the glare on my tabletop. It's a glass tabletop and I'm actually in the process of making myself a leather pad to go on the tabletop so that there's no more glare. Okay, so as I showed you before, it has the very, very nice linen cover to it. Um, and that's what drew me to it was that I really liked the cover, the color. Down here it has the fox and it's jumping and that's their logo. And I just put these little stickers on there and I used some of my wax and I just put a little seal there. So the elastic is very nice, very sturdy, keeps it all together and I like that it matches. So when you open it up, I'm gonna... So when you open it up, there's two ribbons and um, a lot of people uh, who use different, um, different journals, they say that sometimes the ribbons kind of get all messed up well, these are very nice ribbons. It looked like they were sealed on the end, so they have stayed very nice throughout the entire time that I've used my notebook. 
<clears throat> I am um, has the first page where you know it says please return to and thank you and I usually name my journal so I named this the quick brown fox and other woodland hooligans and this is journal number 19 so it also has a contents page which I really really like um, having in my journals. It's not a deal breaker if it doesn't, but I like having it. So I like having, um, being able to put the pages and then the date and different things. Like, um, if I have something special on it, like I did a hand thing with my daughter, um, watercolor test, and then I mark when I finished and, you know, that kind of thing. And then, of course, like I do with all of my journals, I do a pen and ink log. Um, so I use do the date, and then I write the pen that I'm using and the ink, and I make a little swatch. So I wanted to say that this journal is it has a an off white color. It's not exactly. Um, it's not exactly cream color. I would describe this as an ivory color, um, which is nice because one of my uh, qualms about the uh, Exceed journal, which was formerly my favorite, uh, was that I didn't like the yellow paper. So this one's good. It has a really nice ivory paper, and this is 120 GSM paper. So nothing is bleeding through this puppy. Um, and if you remember, um, I complained, I guess, about the uh, Archer and Olive notebook because it's 160 gram paper and it felt like I was reading a children's book and the paper was just way too much. So, and if you remember my kind of journaling, I do predominantly writing. Sometimes I'll throw in some stickers or some ephemera from the day, but it's primarily writing for me. So I tried all kinds of different inks in here. Um, and you know, I, they all worked so well. Um, there's no bleed through. I don't know if you can see right here next to the mushrooms. Um, the, this is private reserve sepia, but there's no bleed through there. Um, and then here's a, a darker ink. I believe this was Deatramentis Jane Austen. Um, and this was uh, a Pilot G2 gel in a point, point 0.5. So here is more of the Deatramentis Jane Austen. And I did kind of grab, you know, my, my G2 gel every once in a while. Um, and here's some more Saki Shikibu from uh, Pilot Orochizuku. And like I was saying before, I did like a little thing of my daughter's hand. Um, so that's her hand outline and I just wrote some things about her. Like she's seven and I asked her different questions. I thought that was fun. And like I said, sometimes I just put some pictures or ephemera from the day in there and that's something we did um I always oh, sorry okay I always like to start a new day on a new page um I try not to leave a lot of space but you know it happens um sometimes I just you know, uh, washi tape in different pictures that I like that are inspiring me at the moment. And I actually decided to try doodling my pens that I'm using and the inks just to do something a little bit different. So this um, ink is uh, Papier Plume, Red Beans and Rice, and it's really nice. I like this better than I like Dye My Ancient Copper. Don't tell anybody. Um, and then I doodled my Pilot G2 in blue and my vintage Parker 21 Super. 
Um, and I used, I made a note, I used gray Tombow dual brush marker and Pigma, Micron, Pigma Micron's 0.5 or 05 and there was no bleeding. So I even left this top part um, empty so that you could see. There's a tiny bit of shadowing, but it's nothing. Like there's no, there's nothing coming through there. Nothing came through. And I wasn't gentle with the marker either. So here is uh, Monteverde Mango Mousse, which I really like. It's a bright, fun um, ink. And then I doodled my yellow Lamy Safari. And... We went to a place called the Crawfish Hole, and you know, I put our guest ticket in here and a little picture of us. Um, but as you can see, most of my journaling, it's not really art journaling, it's, or even aesthetic journaling, it's just writing journaling. So this color right here is um, Robert Oster, Great Southern Ocean. And it, there's no bleeding or shadowing at all with that one. Um, this was a sample that I had of Diamine Meadow. And um, it's okay. It's not one that I want to buy anytime soon, though. Um, my daughter, my sweet little baby daughter, she drew me a little picture. And I always like to put those in my journals, too. Um... I think this green is Sailor Ink Studio 967, and that didn't bleed through either. And both of my daughters painted a little something for me on that day. So I like to put that in there. And this was just a blue Bic. I, I thought that I wanted to try my next journal, which I'm already working on. I thought I wanted to try maybe uh, being a little bit more minimalistic uh, with my uh, fountain pens and my, you know, inks. And so I decided to try and do that with just a Bic. This right here was my watercolor test. Um, and I was not, I wasn't gentle with the watercolors. I went over them and made them darker. And as you can see, there is nothing coming through. You can't even tell there was watercoloring in this page. And you can't even tell, like this was really, I wish you could feel it because it was really, really thickly put on. And I left this one blank. And you can't even tell there was watercoloring on the other side. So I really like that. Um, this one, I got the new uh, Lamy Safari Savannah. And so I, you know, and I used uh, my mild, not mild liners, my Stetler fine liners to color that one in. Um, there's a little bit of Yamabudo, and I did that to see if I could see on the back, but no, there was nothing like that. Sometimes I watch movies and just randomly will laugh at things, and I'll write them in here. One of my favorite movies is Guardians of the Galaxy, and I love Drax. He's my favorite character, so... Sometimes I just get weird and I want to write this stuff in there. And this is the hand for Lily. Um, more of Sailor Ink Studio 967. Um, oh, this is a Lamy Blue. I went ahead and used the Lamy cartridge that came in my, um, my uh, Savannah. Um, this actually, I ended up in the emergency room, uh, with my daughter for about 30 hours and it was really uh, 30 hours without my medication. And so I started to have really bad withdrawals. So something to help me concentrate and focus on something else was I started writing out the lyrics to some of my favorite David Bowie songs. And I wrote them over and over and over again because it was helping to keep me calm. And um, it's the ER thingy. 
Um, and then I did it this way. And so that's one of the big reasons why I like having a journal with me everywhere. And these are a few of the pages that are in the back. They are perforated so that you can tear them out for whatever reason. Um, and I like that. And you know, I always like to leave a few pages in the back for me to go back through over the years when I read things and make notes about stuff. And this was just a blah, blah, blah test page. It also has the uh, pocket in the back, but I find myself not really using these so much. So this color is forest green, A5 hard, hard cover and with dot grid pages. Um, it says 140 dot grid pages, table of contents, eight perforated sheets, expandable sheets, eight perforated sheets, expandable pocket, elastic closure, double bookmark, opens flat, ink proof paper, and acid free paper, and designed in California and made in China. And on the inside, it just says, Thank you for your purchase. Uh, it's a woman owned small business built around our passion for creating high quality products. And um, yeah, so I have, uh, I kind of feel like I like this journal better than the Exceed notebooks. And I've mentioned before the Exceed notebooks are so thick. There's like over, well over 200 pages in them. And so by about 150, 175 pages, I'm starting to get the itch to move into a new journal. So I think this um, 140 some pages, and they're numbered too. So 140 pages is a, like the magic number for me. So um, I really like everything about this journal. I love the paper quality. I love that it's not super yellowy cream paper. Um, and I do believe I will be buying more of these or another. This. A uh, journal on Amazon is about seventeen dollars. Um, now, so it's a journal that I will have to buy a few of them, I guess. You know, when I can, or buy one when I can, and put it in my journals to be used. Um, it's a bit pricey, uh, right up there with about the price of a Lushtrim, but I feel like it's comparable. I really do. So if you like this review, I hope you will actually go out there and um, buy one and try it out. I think you will like it a whole bunch, like a whole bunch missed ton. Yep. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any other ideas of different journals out there that you would like for me to try out, um, one of my things is when I review a journal, I don't review it just based on, you know, opening up a brand new one and doing a couple ink swatches. I'm not comfortable reviewing a journal until I have completely used the whole thing up because I feel like that's how you learn the most about your journal, how you like it. So if you like this, like this. So if you like this uh, video review, if you wanna see more of them, um, smash that like button. If you're new here to my channel, I do all kinds of videos about analog things and whatever really floats my boat. Um, I would love it if you would subscribe. And um, thank you so much for watching. Take care.